An example of a model solar system located on the transforming assessment island in the second light. The models, particularly in this case, are firstly the sun, then we have each of the planets, and when you click a planet, it will do, um, I think, three rotations I set it to be of the sun. And I can click each planet in turn all the way out to the end, the last two being the dwarf planets of Pluto and Eris. We see our planets will eventually come to rest. Now these planets were created using regular prims. Let's zoom in for some examples. Here we have Venus and Mercury. And I've basically got some textures from the internet and uploaded them to Second Life. Some of these planets have got simulated atmospheres, in which case we have two spherical prims, one slightly larger than the other, and I've set the transparency for some of those. I've also done rings on the, some of the larger planets, so we can see Jupiter's very weak wings. We have Saturn and its lovely ring structure there. We have our 90 degree Uranus and our lovely blue planet of Neptune. Now each of these spins in the correct location and has roughly the correct orientation of its axis. However, the scale is obviously not all that accurate. Otherwise it would require an entire island to construct this particular example. If you focus on one of the planets and you click on it, you'll take a ride around the sun with the planet, which of course can be a little bit disturbing sometimes. But there we have it. Our solar system example on transforming assessment, you're welcome to visit. Um, anybody who'd like a copy, please get in contact with either Jeffrey Charlesworth or Matthew Hilliard inside Second Life. This has been a transforming assessment presentation. You can contact either Professor Jeffrey Crisp via his Second Life avatar, Jeffrey Charlesworth, or myself, Dr. Matthew Hillier, via my Second Life avatar, Matthew Hilliard.